Hello guys, welcome to Linux Joy channel. Today we are going to learn about RPM Product Package Manager. Uh, this is used to install the packages here in Linux environment. Packages are nothing but softwares. So let's get started. For that, we need to go to VMware and then choosing this CentOS 64 bit operating system. And here go to CD DVD. Use ISO image, click and browse the where is the image. Here is the image and open. Okay. Now power on this virtual machine. Okay, it will take some time. I'll be back. okay i'm back so log in log into the operating system come on open up yes on the desktop we will find that send away 7 image file and uh, open the terminal type df hyphen shift t -h. so this is our iso file you can find here and the file system and the type size of the file and used and available how much used and mounted and which so first of all i need to copy this iso image to slash opt directory for that i have to use cp hyphen rvf slash run slash media slash root slash to slash opt so in this way we have to copy the iso image to slash opt directory so it will take some time so i'll be back when the copy is copy is completed okay and i'm back so in this way we can copy all the packages into slash opt directory so let's get check the packages are copied or not cd slash opt type ls so and, and this is the directory which we copied cd send enter and type ls so this is the packages folder all the available packages we can find in this directory so type cd packages yes, type ls so these many packages are available so first if you want to check one particular package installed or not for that we have to execute one command that is rpm hyphen q g v i m okay leave it package evm is not installed ok it's showing it's not installed now check the package is available or not rpm-qa pipe grep grep gvim if the package ok that means the packages are not available here so 
I'm going to check one more package that is VSFTPD. Abbreviation of the VSFTPD is Very Secure File Transfer Protocol Daemon. And this package is used for FTP server. So let's get check the package is installed or not. RPM hyphen Q VSFTPD. Okay, package VSFTD installed or not. Availability of the package. Package is available or not. RPM hyphen key. Pipe grip VSFTP. Okay. The package is available. So in this class, I am going to give the information whether the package is available or not. So what are the configuration files and how to check the configuration files, how to list the related files of that package and information about the package. Those things I am going to explain. In the next video, I am going to configure M server. In that M server, I am going to install the packages with the help of this RPM, Red Hat Package Manager. So, if you want to clearly understand, you have to follow these two videos. First, you have to learn about RPM package and after that, you can configure your M server. Right? Next. So, check about the information rpm i am going to check one particular package information vsftp t package install okay not install next and what i'm going to do to check how many packages are available RPM iPhone QA. So these are the packages are available, and uh, to check all related files of the package RPM iPhone QL. Yes, RPM iPhone QL VSFT. PD. Okay, every time. So these things, these commands are executed when the package is installed. So no problem. Just check it. These commands. What is the? What are the use of this list of the related files and to check the all related files. Of the package before installation so how to check all the related files before installation for that rpm iphone qlp vsftpd so these are the related files these many related files whenever we install this package these are the related files we can before installation also we can see those files and the configuration files before installation for that rpm iphone qc t rpm iphone qcp and the package is vsftpd so these are the configuration files after install this package and next what is this before installation to check all the related files related files before installation QLP VSFT PD So in this video I am explained about uh, what is RPM and how to check whether the package installed or not and the related files before installation. So and uh, how to check all the packages 
how many packages are available to check the package installed rpm hyphen q no argument okay q yeah these many packages are already installed so in this way you can check rpm that is red hat package manager so list all the related files and before installing the package and after inst uh, before installing the package configuration files and related files in the next video i am going to explain more about rpm package and rpm after that we are going to configure the m server this is only basic and uh, why we use this uh, in this video i copied all the packages into my system with the centos 7 iso file from iso file so what why i did that before going to configure m server i have to i have to copy all the packages into my into my system then only i will configure the m server okay thank you for watching my video if you like the video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and as many as you can and don't forget to subscribe my channel and please continue the next video to see the m server configuration m server configuration is very very important thank you once again have a nice day